protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm Darren McBreen. It is Thursday, April 9th, 2015. Here's a quick look what's coming up. Tonight, Rand Paul attack ads take a page out of the LBJ playbook. Then, what's John McCain's dirty secret? How does it affect POWs? And Afghan opium production hits a new high. That's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. So they keep all that stuff on the LD, on the lowdown. Not on the down low, it's lowdown. Well, the first warning shot has been fired across the bow at Rand Paul. This after, well, immediately after he announced that he will be running for U.S. president in 2016. An establishment Republican front group responded to the announcement by launching their anti-Rand Paul advertising campaign. In the first of what's expected to be a series of slanderous TV ads against Rand Paul, the elitist neocon warmongers released this television spot, which depicts Rand Paul as dangerous and claims that he stands with Barack Obama. The Senate is considering tough new sanctions on Iran. President Obama says he'll veto them, and Rand Paul is standing with him. Rand Paul supports Obama's negotiations with Iran, and he doesn't understand the threat. You know, it's ridiculous to think that they're a threat to our national security. Rand Paul is wrong and dangerous. Tell him to stop siding with Obama, because even one Iranian bomb would be a disaster. So there you go, a classic example of fear-mongering, and this ad is being run by the Foundation for a Secure and Prosperous America. These guys are big supporters of Senator John McCain, by the way. And so far, it looks like it will mostly run on Fox News channels. No big surprise there. And it really reminds me of the attack ads that LBJ used against Barry Goldwater back in the 1964 presidential race, the Lyndon Baines Johnson campaign, they used scare tactics to trick or scare the American people into voting for Johnson because if they didn't, little girls were going to get nuked. children can live or to go into the dark. We must either love each other or we must die. Vote for President Johnson on November 3rd. The stakes are too high for you to stay home. So voters got scared and LBJ remained president, thus the escalation of the Vietnam War. And I want to play another one. I like these old ads because this was an entire ad campaign a PSYOP, if you will, targeting the American people, scaring them into believing that a vote for Lyndon Johnson meant a safer America. Do you know what people used to do? They used to explode atomic bombs in the air. Now, children should have lots of vitamin A and calcium, but they shouldn't have any strontium-90 or cesium-137. These things come from atomic bombs, and they're radioactive. They can make you die. Do you know what people finally did? They got together and signed a nuclear test ban treaty, and then the radioactive poison started to go away. But now, 
There's a man who wants to be president of the United States, and he doesn't like this treaty. He fought against it. He even voted against it. He wants to go on testing more bombs. His name is Barry Goldwater. And if he's elected, they might start testing all over again. Vote for President Johnson on November 3rd. The stakes are too high for you to stay home. So the more things change, the more they stay the same. And Rand Paul, he's being attacked on all fronts right now, both from the left and the right. And that says a lot. I mean, it tells me he might be onto something. And I'll be the first to admit that I have some serious reservations about Rand Paul. For example, you know, he voted against GMO labeling. What the heck was that all about? But there's no doubt that he is the number one candidate right now, and they are treating him like a threat. And that's why he has to be shut down. I mean, he poses a threat, so he has to be dealt with. They can't get someone like Rand Paul in there who has libertarian views. No, they need someone like Jeb Bush, or even worse, God forbid, someone like Hillary Clinton. My name is Alex Jones. Most of you know me from my syndicated radio program and my documentary films, as well as InfoWars Nightly News. When I got on air 20 years ago, I had discovered the globalist program, their plan to take over the world, and my focus went from running six miles every other day, swimming two, three miles a couple times a week, and lifting weights to focusing on fighting the globalist. I've gone from 279 pounds all the way down to 235 pounds and the weight's going off even faster. Super Male Vitality, Survival Shield X2 Nascent Iodine, and Oxy Powder. Those three products of the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products are the most important from my own personal experience. And it wasn't just that my weight loss accelerated, my muscle mass increased, my stamina, my energy levels exploded. Now is the time to take action. Start your journey today with the Alex Challenge Pack. It's the trifecta of change. Secure yours today and get free shipping for a limited time at InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139.